now we will move on to step 5 customizing constructors 2 so our code works as it is but if you study the current version closely you may struck by something a bit odd it seems uh, pointless to have to provide a, ma a manager so manager job name for manager again see actually for manager uh, uh, subclass when we create an object we are providing mgr so in that's what I'm saying. So it is. Uh, it seems pointless to have uh, to provide a, a MGR uh, value, MGR job name for manager of manager objects when we create them. This is already implied by the class itself. It would be better if we could somehow fill in this value automatically when a manager is made. Uh, for this to accomplish, we need to customize the constructor logic for managers subclass in such a way as to provide a job name automatically in terms of code. We have to redefine an init method in manager that provides the main MGR string for us. So let's do it. See, thus far the code remains same, but here we have to do a little bit of modification for the subclass that's class man manager so this is our class manager it inherits from person and then after that we will have our it it will have its uh, own or customized uh, constructor that is it will have only two that is uh, name and pay parameters parameters and also it after the colon we have to put person dot in it so basically uh, we are taking the person class constructor and we are customizing the one of the parameter in it that is job so in job uh, parameter we gave mgr mgr that's the manager job so then with that uh, we will have our own customized constructor for the manager subclass so and we will also define give rise uh, that's also customized method then let's uh, try to code it and ex let's execute it and we'll see see Charan this is our first object then Harry is second object these are class objects uh, that person class objects then we have to write attributes as well as give rise method to both of it then this black color one are manager class so shiva is manager class object and shiva dot give rise will give you a different value and then shiva dot last name and then print the shiva object this one this object belongs to manager subclass and this object belongs to ma uh, person subclass if you see manager uh, constructor here in between you don't need to give job anymore because three kala and the, uh, the salary pay that's it job by default it takes it as a mgr that's what uh, uh, customizing the constructor so if you take output this is what we get and uh, so with this we have actually customized our uh, constructor let's uh, see how this works uh, when we put it in uh, practice so the first step uh, in uh, step uh, the first task in step 5 is uh, uh, we have we have coded the new manager and constructor and changed the call that creates a wish to not uh, not pass in the mgr job name wish is v-a-s-h wish is our manager subclass method okay the first task is to customize the uh, 
सब क्लास और मैनेजर क्लास कंस्ट्रक्टर सो मेन क्लास इज दिस फ्रॉम हियर दैट इज आवर मेन क्लास मेन क्लास बाय एंड लार्ज विल रिमेन सेम वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू चेंज एनीथिंग एंड देन वी हियर फ्रॉम हियर द सब क्लास स्टार्ट एंड हियर इट एंड इन सब क्लास इन एडिशन टू so in sub class normally in previous uh, sessions what we have done we have just uh, inherited from the main class but here we want to customize our constructor in such a way that uh, uh, as the job of the manager uh, role itself is mgr so you don't need to uh, specifically have that parameter by default it should give that's what we are expecting for that we have written we ha we are writing our own customized constructor for it in that name and pay are the only two parameters so now from now on words when you create an object you have to give only two arguments that is name and pay you don't need to give manager so manager will be taken automatically we'll check whether uh, it is possible or not so now my manager subclass construction will take only two arguments those are name and pay that's it but we want to add mgr that manager uh, job role to the our uh, person class uh, constructor so that's why after the colon we have included person dot in it this is the person constructor in that in spite of uh, job argument we directly put it mgr that means uh, mgr is by default will stay for every for every instance that you created with manager subclass and then give rise is our customized method and experience is our extended method so with this we are done with uh, creating classes now we will test that using a piece of code so how do we test first we will create mad a person class object then cache another person class object then we will make wish this is manager class object so if you see the constructor of both in cache a person class object you have given three parameters three parameters whereas wish a manager class uh, object you have given only two parameters this is how we customize our constructor because that in it manager has its own in it and it had made this possible so this is what i want to talk here and when i when we call uh, those objects print math and print cache and print wish so person class 2 person and then harikeshwa 2 but when it comes to vishnu you got two arguments you see maha vishnu and 72000 that's the pay because we are able to customize our constructor using that now now before uh, writing uh, thus far we have almost covered all steps and major concepts of uh, python uh, python object oriented programming now it's time to put a complete uh, a form a final form of code at one place so that uh, our final form of code will be ready for the use of other people so now uh, but don't get excited before writing completed final form of program let us make a one more module a separate module which code one general display class please pay attention to this this is very important uh in code one general display display class so that later the same display class can be used in our main program okay come on jump in for for, for most exciting journey okay this is a crazy one i, I really like uh, this tool let's make it so coding a generic display tool let's code it 
So what we will do is for that uh, we can put these interfaces to work in a super class that displays accurate class names and formats all attributes of an instance of any class. Now for that what we have to do is we have to open a new file in our VS code and the name of the file is class tools dot py dot py is our extension now it's a new independent uh, module named class tools dot py that implements just such a class because railing double underscore str leading double underscore print overload print overload uses generic introspection tools it will work on any instance regardless of its attribute set and because of this is a class it automatically becomes general formatting tool let us code a general formatting tool and implement it as a module in our object oriented programming system code the complete main code okay now see uh, class name is iter attribute display attribute display is the class name attr display and this is the and the first uh, method in that is gather attributes empty list and uh, self dot dict dict is another by default another uh, inbuilt method we have used here and then append and put it in a, a proper format and return complete attributes then a second uh, method in this class in this class is trailing double underscore list so basically we have only one method inside that we have uh, string also this gives a format this uh, overloads the print format print default format so now to test we will use uh, some of these examples and then after that this is how we get so now we will go to the visual studio code and we'll write that file so this is that the name of this file is class tools dot py now the class of this uh, name of that class is attr display and basically what it does doc string i have written the doc string is it provides an inheritable print overload method that displays instances with their class names and a name is equals to value pair for each attribute stored on the instance itself so that's the purpose we just want to use a general dis for general formatting tool or display formatting tool so now uh, it consists of uh, one method that's gather attributes and second one is a inbuilt uh, that's a string method it's an operator overloading it is to get the proper uh, formatting right so once i create this uh, file i will save this and i'll uh, try to import and then i'll try to incorporate this module into my main code complete full form of code let's see how it makes a difference in our code so now the utility the utility of this module is to display the instances with their class names and name equals to value pair for each attribute stored in the on the instance itself so let's move ahead and uh, let's put a complete uh, piece of code here after integration of class tools module into oops code oops code so our class is final form congratulations you have written uh, your complete whoops code
congrats it's a big achievement tap your shoulder and enjoy the moment okay now uh, we'll put everything in place now our class's final form is so as uh, we want to use the display format so what we'll do is we from class tools import attr display class and then our person class will be inherited from this class why we are inheriting we are inheriting display format we are in inheriting only display format because if you have a proper display format it is easy to test while writing a code so that is the reason we are uh, using this but it is not main part of oops but still this kind of uh, concept makes uh, writing oops easy as a programmer you should have this kind of tools in your toolbox now the remaining thing remains same uh, it consists of uh, this is our uh, instance attributes and then it will have two methods that's last name and then give rise these are for the class person uh, class and similarly we have a subclass uh, that is manager which inherits uh, from person obviously manager as person inherits from it attr display so manager it is a total a multi level inheritance this is a multi level inheritance if you do not know what is multi level inheritance i have made a video on inheritances with a real world example please go back and watch that video and then come back here okay then uh, we have written a sub sub class that's manager and uh, a customized person with special requirement it will have its own uh, constructor and uh, a customized given give rise uh, method and then an extended uh, method if you want to include so finally your complete piece of code is ready so now you can do the testing by creating uh, objects that are belongs to person as well as the manager and finally you can check it out so now we will uh, write our final full form of code in jupyter notebook okay now to write a full form of code what we need is we have to import a generic display tool this is nothing but a, a file that we have just written in vs code i'll show you again so this is the file class tools.py this is the file just we have written i want to import this file as cs now import class tools as cs so no issue with the import operation it's fantastic then we will see the namespace what are there in that namespace it consists of uh, only one class that is attr display rest all are built in functions so now we have work with attr display okay so now using that we will put our class a final form we will bring all the bits and pieces together to make a meaningful program and also we import class tools module that we have just written and we will use it in our program our complete piece of code so let i think is it okay Mm, yes just give me a second yeah yeah so now you can see the complete piece of code i hope you you are able to see yes so what i have done here the final compi compilation of all bits and pieces of together so far now the first step the first step is import a class from class tools module it is a general display tool 
so from class tools import attr display class so then what we'll do the next step is person class inherits the main attributes that main uh, functionality the display tool from attr display class so that's why now our person is being inherited from attr display now again after that we have a constructor with uh, instance attributes and uh, uh, we have uh, instance methods those are two these are belongs to person class uh, data and then and then we have and then we have to code subclass and we have to code subclass subclass here is a manager which inherits everything from main class however it will have uh, its own constructor a customized constructor and uh, it will have a customized method and an extended method our customized cons customized constructor is it will have only two parameters that is name and pay whereas uh, this has three name job pay so that's how we customized it and then uh, uh, it has a customized give rise because the manager gets bonus of 0.10% sorry 10% as of additional bonus so we have customized give rise and finally experience is the one which we have added to this person so with this we have completed a piece of uh, oops code uh, in addition to the attribute uh, attr display tool to for to format the complete display now let's see how does this changes our code viewing thing so i'll, I'll zoom it so that it would it's it would be clear for you One more. It's not going to. Okay, it's taking time. Just give me one minute. Okay. So now, if you see, now I think it's clear now. So the above is the, this part is the whoop uh, code. And from here, uh, incremental self test code. That's if name. Is equals to string main this is the testing your code so now what we have done is first created generated mud uh, person class instance then cache and person class instance which is manager class instance now what we'll do is in spite of checking the checking everything we will just print the we'll just print this object only object and we'll see what kind of uh, uh, display we will get it will it give a special format or we'll get a default format let's see let's check and see okay i will uh, create open one more cell and then for that uh, i'll exhibit this before okay they okay that's the mistake fine fine i will i will change it don't mind yes got it now uh, let me get math that is instance object you see this is what i'm talking about so this is the special format this is a, how did we get it by using a by importing a display tool from outside so that display tool also coded by me only but still i'm just saying so that's why we we have used that uh, display tool now i will add uh, one more that's print uh, cache see person job creator then sorry just mm. then uh, print wish see manager and job is equals to manager so this is how it is actually formatting because of using this tool uh, you are able to format the display or otherwise we would get some memory location of that uh, object so that is not much of use so that's the reason we are using this we have 
uh, we have uh, imported this tool we have made this uh, uh, display tool and we have imported and we have incorporated this in our final code so they, with this Congratulation to everybody, whoever is following along with me. So we have completed whoops. This is a brilliant achievement. Congrats.